Hey, so I had a coach ask me today to put together some video about what we do when we can't get on grass, but we're trying to get outside and we have to go into parking lots or tennis courts and things like that. And there's obviously, there's a lot of things you can do and it can get old sometimes very quickly. So it's good to have some variety and, and try some different things, but uh, there's always skills. Obviously you can do step ups, pendulums, foundations, uh, moving the ball with the sole of your foot and, and that type of thing, skills pretty easily. Uh, you can get into ladders and hoops and hurdles and that kind of thing. You want to make sure kids are wearing the proper shoes for these things. These are tennis shoes and, and good tennis shoes, not weak tennis shoes that don't have a lot of support, but good quality tennis shoes. Um, but then you can take the skills and the ladders and you can mix them together. And you can have kids doing skills while going through ladders or over hoops and hurdles and things like that and around different obstacles. So skills with ladders and hoops and hurdles are very important and things you can do as well. Um, when I get into these kind of things, I like to have a lot of fun and play some music. Uh, we'll play a lot of soccer tennis. Soccer tennis can be um, can be a lot of fun. Uh, it can be also challenging for players that, that struggle with it a little bit. So bringing some sound in to kind of affect some rhythm and, and energy is, is great. So I'll show a couple videos of my players at younger age groups and older age groups back from the Classics Eagles days. We have some kids here that when they were 10 or 11 years old that are now on our U17s and U18s. So you'll see some players here and, and have a little bit of fun with it. Parking lots can be great. Obviously, you need to make sure there are no cars around. Uh, this needs to be an area that's blocked off. Um, those are sometimes easy to find at the right times and on the right days. Uh, make sure that it's blocked off and safe, though, for our players. Uh, parking lots can be great, though, because sometimes they have lines already drawn on the surface. And you have to be careful when you don't have that, because when you're using discs and cones, Players can step on a cone or step on a disc and slip and fall. And obviously, the surface is a lot harder than it is on the grass. So you got to be really cautious with that. In fact, you have to be really careful about just debris in general. There can be gravel. Sometimes these are concrete courts that have uh, the concrete started to degrade a little bit and can be very slippery. Sometimes you'll find trash all on courts and things like that. You need you and your players need to, to make an effort to go across the court and just make sure there's not anything there that somebody might step on and slip because slipping happens and, and cones will do that a lot of times. So if you have natural markings like tennis court lines or parking spot lines, those can be really, really helpful. Uh, but I try to add a lot of music and uh, have a little bit of fun with it and allow kids to enjoy that while they're playing. Um, again, you can play soccer tennis. Uh, I've had some with our older groups here, uh, some of the kids I've coached in the past, and this is uh, when Coach Priscilla was, and Coach Gina as well were on club teams when they were younger. Um, they were about U16s here. Uh, sorry, they must have been U17s because obviously they dropped the practice. But, um, but you'll see sometimes they just get in each other's way. They don't know how to play. Soccer tennis is a different sport. If you don't know how to get out of each other's way, sometimes you just get in each other's way. So the potential for kids to run into each other and slip and fall is maybe a little bit higher. We all know in a game you could run into each other. You could get hit by a ball in a game. You could slip and fall in a game. We just want to be careful. We're doing everything we can to make sure that the spaces and the areas that we're using are safe. There are a number of things you can do. If you can't get onto courts to play soccer, tennis, or something like that, you can use areas and play small-sided games. It's a great area for futsal. Uh, it's a very similar surface for futsal. So having a futsal ball and some small goals, or just a regular soccer ball and some small goals, uh, you can play a small-sided tournament. And you know, trying to play 8v8 is difficult, but having a 4v4 tournament where you everybody plays everyone and then you have a semifinal and a final and there's something to win in the end can be a lot of fun. So have a little bit of fun with it, be creative, make sure the areas are safe, make sure the activities you're choosing are safe and uh, enjoy it.